What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you are subscribed so you know what's going on in the world of tech. We got some stories today, some interesting stories for you and some fun stories, so let's get into it. The first two stories are about Samsung and I wouldn't have it any other way. First one is about Samsung possibly getting uh, Bluetooth 5.0 in the new Galaxy S8. It's due to launch Bluetooth 5.0, that is, in the next two to six months. Now, two months from now, two to three months from now, we should have our new Galaxy S8 and Bluetooth 5.0 is very interesting because it's got a few nice qualities about it. First, the first one is that it's four times more distance than uh, Bluetooth 4.0. Bluetooth 4.0 can go to about 33 feet, whereas Bluetooth 5.0 can go about 120 feet. So you could literally have Bluetooth 5.0 headphones on, and then obviously your phone's Bluetooth 5.0, and you're gonna be able to go 120 feet away from it and still get that audio sound crystal clear. Bluetooth sounds amazing nowadays versus what it used to a few years back. Obviously, both devices will have to be 5.0 Bluetooth in order to take advantage of this. Right now, Bluetooth 4.0 is kind of the king of the world right now, but, but sooner or later, Bluetooth 5.0 will be the new king. Speaking of Samsung, a user uh, sent an email suggestion into the Samsung folks about the Samsung Cloud possibly being able to be used on the PC, and this is what they had to say. They said, Samsung Cloud team is in deep consideration on providing web services. We expect users would be able to view and manage their data on the web once we open Samsung Cloud web service next year. This is gonna be a great feature to have on your PC. Reason being is because this service currently only works on Samsung phones. I know the Note 7 has it. I don't know if the S7 Edge got it yet or if they're gonna get it, but the Note 7 had it. It's a cool little thing. It backs up all your notes and your um, your, your, is your coming apps to your PC and your contacts now, and all right that now. stuff to the cloud so that when you restore from it, it'll uh, keep it the way it was looking before, or at least partly for the most part. It's the next best thing to iCloud on an Android device. Next up is a very cool story. It's about Amazon's new delivery service called Prime Air. And what it is, it's gonna, you're gonna be ordering a package or some sort, and what happens is uh, it's gonna be delivered to your house by drone, and it's gonna happen within minutes. So you're not gonna have to have to wait for a human to pack it onto a truck, deliver it on the truck, drop it off at your front door. It's literally gonna be ordered from this special warehouse that has drones in it. They'll, the human will uh, put the package on the drone and then the drone automatically, with no human involved, flies it from uh, the, the distribution center to your house, drops it off in your yard, and that's it, and it happens within minutes. Well, they did their first successful delivery on December 7th over in Cambridge, England. Uh, the guy ordered like a fire TV and something else, I forget what it was, but it happened in 13 minutes. He ordered it on his computer, 13 minutes later it left the warehouse, was delivered to his yard, it didn't make it to his front door, it literally flies in the air about 400 feet in the air, drops it off, it's a, a crazy cool technology. Um, this is gonna come in super handy once this fully goes into um, into play. It probably is years away from play because if you watch the video, which I'll link in the description down below, but if you listen to the video, they are delivering this to two people currently in England and then it's gonna expand to a dozen and then they said a hundreds, so it's not really Really, it's still years away, and this is only in England. Is there are they are building it out in America and some other places as well, but it's still years away from them mass producing this in everywhere in the world. And also, it's only going to uh, deliver packages in the sun during the day, and if it's uh, rainy or snowy, they will not deliver at all. So it's it's still uh, quite a ways out, but it's a very cool technology. I can't wait to see this uh, come into fruition out in here in America. Next up, if you are a Project Fi customer, you are in for some cool little goodies at a Project Fi vending machine. That's right, Project Fi vending machine. All you gotta do is go up to the vending machine, put in this special code, and you can choose all kinds of cool little goodies like sleep masks, socks, and charging cables. You get to choose one item every 24 hours from this vending machine. I wish this was everywhere. I don't have Project Fi, but I would get it if this was basically everywhere. It sounds like such a cool thing, and uh, obviously if they're branded with Project Fi, that's even way cooler. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. My product of the day is the Omaker M6 speaker. This thing is crazy, amazingly good. You have to check this out.
I did a review on it yesterday. It sounds so nice. It's only $29.99 on the Amazon store. You can get it with Prime shipping. It's so good. I cannot stress that enough. Also, my question of the day is, what's the most amazing vending machine you've ever seen or used in your life? For me, I haven't really seen too many crazy uh, uh, vending machines in my life. I'd probably say, I mean, I've seen some on TV, so I would, probably one that makes French fries or pizza. That's probably one of the coolest ones I've seen. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you down the road. Peace.